Today, we're going to be exploring a burning question. Should you give up on buying or should you wait? Join me as I dive into the current landscape of interest rates and share with you my insights on what my current buyers are experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's get started. First thing first, let's talk about the current landscape of the interest rates and how that is impacting your home buying journey. Interest rates play a significant role in understanding your monthly mortgage payment and how much home you could afford. The higher the interest rate, the more expensive it is to finance and get a loan for your purchase of your home, and that diminishes your buying power. Now let's read this article together where I disclose what the current interest rates are. So as of October 11th, today, 2023, the average 30-year fixed rate mortgage in the U.S. is at 7.83. Many prospective home buyers are hoping for some relief, but it's unclear when exactly that will happen. Current homeowners also face high rates. The average 30-year fixed mortgage refinance rate is at 8.02 as of today, according to Bankrate. When I started my real estate career back in May of 2020, the interest rates were hovering in the mid threes. And now we're over 7.5%. Now let's take a look at this article. Several factors, including shifts in inflation, the job market, and uncertainty around the Federal Reserve's next move are contributing to the highest mortgage rates in generation. With these high interest rates, a lot of my buyers who used to be qualified, who was able to afford a home, are now not able to do so. And this is the truth, you guys. So a lot of my buyers would ask me, Kaori, when is a good time to buy? And my response to that is whenever you feel comfortable that you could afford that monthly payment based on the current interest rate. So now let's talk about affordability. I have a graphics I'd like to share with you that breaks down what your monthly mortgage payment would look like based on the different interest rates. So let's take a look together at this graphic, what you can afford based on the current interest rate. Now this graphic shows from 3 to 7% and now we're actually approaching that even 8% mark. So let me give you an example. Based on a $2,000 monthly payment, if your interest rate was at 3%, which was back in 2020, you could afford a home at $474,000. Now take a look at your diminishing purchasing power as the interest rates go up. So at 4%, your purchase power is now down to $419,000. At 5%, $372,000. 6%, $334,000. And at 7%, your purchase power at a monthly $2,000 mortgage payment is at $301,000. Now let's put it into perspective. The median price of a single family home in Las Vegas is currently about $430,000. So for you to qualify for a median priced home, let's go back to this chart. You will be able to qualify that amount if the interest rate was between three to 4%. Now in today's market condition, if you wanted to purchase a home, a medium home at $451,000 at 7% interest rate, your monthly payment goes up to $3,000. So there's actually a $1,000 gap in your monthly payment in order to afford the same home that you would be able to afford a few years ago. Now at 7%, it's going to cost you $3,000 in mortgage payment per month. Now looking at the column of the 7% interest rates, let's go down this list to see how much your monthly payment is going to be and for how much of a home you could afford. So going back to $3,000 per month, you could afford a home at $451,000. Moving up to $4,000 a month, you could afford a home that's $601,000. Moving up to $5,000 a month, you could afford a home that's $751,000. And moving up to $6,000 monthly payment per month, you are now able to qualify for a home at $902,000. But you guys, can you see the big difference in the monthly mortgage payment now that our interest rate is up to 7%? Now, it's a sticker shock for all of us, but 
that's the reality and a lot of my buyers are not able to purchase a home right now because of these high interest rates so what are new home builders and sellers offering to make a sale right now in this currently high interest rate marketplace in the new home construction side builders are offering a lot more incentives and they're offering anywhere from three to six percent towards closing costs as well as interest rate buy down so let's talk about that when you're financing as a buyer, you're responsible for the closing costs, and that's usually between two to 3% of the purchase price. Now, the builders are offering up to 6% in closing costs and interest buy down. So within that 6%, they're covering 100% of your closing costs, so there's no upfront cash needed at closing for you as a buyer. Now, that's fantastic. On top of that, whatever's remaining, builders are offering to pay down your interest rate. So from the crazy high 7%, they're able to buy down the interest rate for you based on your credit score. And by doing so, they're able to help you with your monthly mortgage payment. Another thing I'm hearing a lot lately is the 321 buy down that builders are offering. So let me give you an example of what that means. Take a look at this graphics, the 3, 2, 1 buy down scenario at 7.75% interest rate. Builders will buy down the interest rates 3 points the first year, 2 points the second year, and 1 point the third year in order for you to have a much more manageable and affordable monthly mortgage rate. So in this scenario at 7.75%, in the first year, the builder is buying three points down. So you can see that your monthly total payment, including the HOA in this particular scenario, is at $3,583.23. Now year two, the interest rate is gonna go up one point higher. The builder is knocking down two points and it's at 5.75 and the monthly payment goes up to $3,930.01. Year three, the builder will knock down one point at 6.75%, and the monthly mortgage payment is at $4,294.15. Now from year four all the way to the 30 year mark, your interest rate is at 7.75% and your monthly payment is at $4,673.91. Now, builders are obviously offering this incentive so that when you do start your first monthly payment, it is at a much more affordable price. So in this scenario, even with the builders offering the 321 buy down, the monthly mortgage payment of $3,583 may be too much for you. And for a lot of my buyers that I'm currently working with, it is a little too much for them and it is a stretch for them. So what I've advised these buyers is to wait, let's keep saving, and let's wait until the interest rates do go down a little bit so that the monthly mortgage payment is a lot more affordable than what it is right now. There are other builders that are offering an interest rate of 4.99 or a 5.25 only if you use their preferred lender. And in most cases, these lenders are part of the builder. So when you're working with a builder, let's say for example, Taylor Morrison, you'll be working with their finance department, the Taylor Morrison Financial, in order to finance for your new home. On the resale side, a lot more sellers are open to giving concessions in terms of closing costs at closing. They need to do that to be competitive because if they don't, these buyers won't be able to afford their home. By the way, if we haven't met yet, konnichiwa, my name is Kaori Nagao, your global real estate advisor helping you find your new home. Whether it's a new construction home or a resale home anywhere in the world, I'll be more than happy to help you with your home buying journey. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I love it when you engage with me, so comment below. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any further questions and I'll be more than happy to comment. Now let's keep going. So now let's talk about the future of interest rates and what we could expect for 2024. Let's hear what the experts are saying. So in this article, where do experts think mortgage rates will start in 2024? Some experts are saying that they think mortgage rates will begin roughly where we ended in the low sevens. Some are saying that it will be starting between 7.25 to the 7.5% range. And others think it will continue to climb. And now, how will mortgage rates change throughout 2024? 
Some experts are saying that mortgage rates will come down into the mid sixes by the second quarter and ending up in the lower six or high fives by the end of the year. And that would be really, really hopeful, right, you guys? For all of my buyers waiting on the sidelines, and I think their price sensitivity, you know, when they hear sixes and fives, I think those are some buyers that would be ready to make a move. And so let's talk about that. What do I think will happen when interest rates do go down and the market conditions become more active? When interest rates go down, more buyers will go into the market and there's going to be a lot more activity in the market. Now, because we do have low inventory here in Las Vegas, we're still at two months worth of supply. There's going to be a lot of multiple offer situations. Sellers are going to win because they will experience multiple offer situations. And we may experience something we did back in 2020 where people are going to start, you know, waiving some contingencies or not doing inspections, which I do not highly Highly recommend personally but we're gonna see a lot of movement in the market when interest rates do go down and we're hopeful that it will happen sometime next year when I do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with each of my buyers we really dive into key questions that's gonna dictate whether it's a good time to buy now or wait everybody has different things going on in their lives for some people this might be their forever home for a lot of my buyers relocating here for work or for school, it may be more of a short-term commitment when purchasing this home. For each of my buyers, I would schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation time with them, and we really go into each of these important questions when making a decision to whether we should wait or whether we should buy. And it really comes down to the affordability, but it also depends on the timeline and the vision for what they have in mind as far as their home goes. Is this your forever home? Is this a temporary home? Maybe you're relocating here to Las Vegas, but you don't know how much longer you'll stay here. Those are all good questions that you need to ask yourself when making a decision whether you should wait or whether you should buy. In conclusion, whether you choose to buy now or wait requires careful considerations based on your current financial situation, market trends, and interest rate predictions. It's very important for you as a buyer to consult with a real estate advisor that would walk you through all these questions so that you can make a very informed decision based on your unique circumstances. For more videos, check out one of the videos surrounding me. Based on the information I gave you, what would you do? Would you wait or would you buy? Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you have any further questions, let me know in the comments below and I will make sure I engage with you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was very informative and I cannot wait to see you on the next one. If you're new to my channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button so other viewers like yourself can find me on YouTube. Thank you so much and see you on the next one.